Sorry. So um, it's the 100th year anniversary of the women's uh, uh, game ban this year. What do you, did you know about the ban and what do you think about it? Yeah, I know all about the ban. Uh, it was absolutely appalling. You know, I'm, I'm all about equality, diversity. Uh, here at FC United and Manchester, you know, we've got a great women's side. I'm looking in the background to set up a girls' academy. Uh, you know, girls have girls have got just as much place in football as, as what men have. So, you know, to come out with kind of what they did 100 years ago just shows uh, the naivety and, and kind of the ignorance towards towards women and women's sports. So, you know, I'm delighted that I could be here today. You know, I passed one and watched the Clapton women play against all women. You know, the atmosphere was great. We, like, it's, for me, as manager of the first team and being full time here, it's, it gives me a lot of pride to be able to watch the girls as well and be able to give them some input. So, really successful day. Really good. How important do you think it is to have a double header like this, or to have the women and the men playing on the same facilities? What sort of message do you think it sends out? It's huge. I mean, we'll all be here next week. You know, they're playing against Newcastle on the Sunday. We'll be here. We'll be cheering them on. Uh, the double header is great. Uh, next year it's our turn to play first and they can go second. No, I'm only kidding. You know, it's just, it's brilliant. You know, it's just, a, we're a real good, big family here at FC United, you know, from the academy to the women's team, you know, the girls academy, we're going to start the first team. You know, it's, it's, it's one badge. You know, we're all together. It doesn't matter, you know, kind of what gender you are, what, what ethnicity, what, what uh, sex you are. You know, we're all welcome here. So great for, to have the double header. Uh, great for FC United personally to win both games. But I've got to pay special mention to, to obviously Clapton and the Clapton women. that they played in, you know, great spirits. The fans really got behind it. And you could see today from the atmosphere, and I need to point this out, that there was no change in atmosphere between the women's game and the men's game. And there was no change in, in the size of the crowd. Everyone, everyone came out today to watch football and, and football today won. You know, the girls' team and, and the boys' team. So, really happy. So, in terms of the community, the local community, how important is it to have uh, the club back in the senior women's team for the lost generation of people that couldn't play football, that didn't have that opportunity? I mean, what people may not know is the women play in a higher league than the men, you know, here at FC United. So, it's, it's a massive credit. You know, Kirsty, the captain, you know, they've had the pitch taken. She'll be, she'll be on the face of the stadium with the new kit on. I think it's great, you know, and, and the role models as well. And this is why, you know, the boys who play in the academy here look up to the first team. Next year, if we can get the girls' academy off the ground, they'll look up to the, the senior girls and, and look up to them. And, you know, we, we just keep developing and evolving. But for me, it would never go back. We'd always have a, a women's football team here. And, you know, we want to see them play on that pitch. I'll be here every, every one of their games. We play 12 games here this season. Uh, and it's going to be great. And they, they have the, absolutely the right privilege or the, the right, whatever the word is, to, to kind of take to, the, take to the surface. Because at the end of the day, it's a green piece of grass. And, you know, it doesn't matter who you are or what you are. You know, you should be able to play on the best surfaces. In terms of then misconceptions about women's football, if, if in, we will say either tomorrow in 10 years time, whichever one suits, what misconception would you love to see just be got rid of with, about women's football? I'd love to see Man United women turn up here, beat our first team, you know, because the women are, you know, talented individuals. I watched England. You know, watching the Olympics now, fantastic look over in America. The standard of football is second to none. And, and reputationally, what, what people say about, you know, women in sport or they must be this type of gender, it's, it's absolutely nonsense. They're just sports people who, who, who pride themselves on keeping fit, who really enjoy football. And, you know, I will say it, some of them better than the men. You know, and, and what's wrong with that? You know, because at the end of the day, if we're, if we're talking equality, you know, I'd love to be able to have a Kirsty in my in my starting eleven. She's absolutely fantastic. The way she goes down the left hand side at FC United and gets the fans off the seats. You know, why not? And, and who knows? You know, one day maybe. Uh, I doubt it, but one way, you know, hopefully. But it's it's the coming together that, that means everything to me. You know. Uh, just a quick story that we had a Christmas party about 18 months ago and uh, it was really important the academy were here but the women and, uh, women's first team and the men's first team were here and I wouldn't let kind of the women just sit with the women the men sit with the men we all had to mingle in and, and talk to each other really get to know each other and since then you know that connection that, that coming together that community ethos that we've got here you know really took off and you know we just want to build on them successes uh, I want to win I want to wish women's football all the best this season I want to wish men's football all the best this season and you know after what we've been through over the last 18 months it's just great to watch football whoever it is uh, so like I said at the start of the interview football's a winner today uh, but let, let's let's strive to, to continue, continue to improve the women's game because it's got a massive place in football a massive place in sport uh, and, and, and I'm a big advocate of that So you've got a great ethos obviously um, you know higher up but the male players what do you reckon they could do to, to help a little bit more in terms of allyship? Social media 
coming on match days, uh, pictures together, uh, taking an active interest in each other, you know, reaching out on social media, like I said, to each other, you know, doing things together, you know, maybe not just the boys meeting the academy lads, the girls coming down and meeting the academy lads as well, vice versa. You know, lots, lots of things in and around the stadium, you know, community work, going out together and, you know, being a face in, in, in Manchester, in Moston, just showing that there is no divide. There is definitely no divide here. And I won't let them have a divide here. Uh, for me, we want to keep developing and I want the women to go as high as they can, as quick as they can, like I do with the men. Uh, and it doesn't pain me to say that the women are playing at a high level of football because they absolutely deserve it. You know, it doesn't pain me, I'm jealous of it. And we've got to get there as quick as possible. But it shows that, you know, the women's team is doing something right. Uh, and, you know, we, we've just got to applaud that. I was ignorant towards, you know, kind of the Glazier takeover, Sky Sports, the sponsorship in and around it. But then when you hear day in, day out, and you see fans who are not just fans, they're owners as well, and they take pride in the stadium, they look after it. I mean, I'm looking around at volunteers everywhere here now, just making sure they own the club. There's no multi-billionaire chairman that, that wants to come in and, and buy success. You know, we, we do things together, and, and, and me, you know, looking at Clapton today, would I rather have that and go on Man City against Man United a hundred times over? You know, this was much more enjoyable, much more fun, and you know, it gives fans a voice, it gives owners a voice, and, and me, you know, I've definitely, I haven't said I've changed, I've learned, uh, but I'm definitely all for uh, fan all football. I cancel my Sky Sports subscription. Uh, I'm not very really interested in Premier League football now. I'm interested in this, and, and this, you know, if I can help in whatever way, then then I certainly will do. Uh, but, but fan all football for me is all the way, definitely all the way.